Hi, my name is Andrei Tikhonov, and I work for Huawei Moscow Research Center. I am happy to introduce you our cloud scheduling problem. In Huawei R&D, you face a lot of compute-intensive tasks. Many of them may be solved using competitive programming techniques. Cloud technologies are the hot topic in recent years. Each improvement here is beneficial both for customers and the provider. We work our best every day to improve the quality of the final product. I hope you will join our experience and participate in this contest, and I will explain you the details of our challenge. So let's start. We work with the cloud with many servers and dozens of virtual machines inside the single server. Each server or virtual machine has two types of resources, memory and CPU. We cannot use more resources on the server than it has capacity for each resource. Quite a natural situation. Effectively, we have a number of bins or containers and we can place some number of items to each bin until there are no space left. In this challenge, the goal is to find out how to schedule the moves or migrations of virtual machines to achieve an optimal placement configuration of the cloud. We are given both initial and optimal placements as input. Consider this as having a chess game where you know the final position and you would like to write down all the intermediate moves of the game. Let's look at this picture representing our input. On the left, you can see the initial cluster state. We have three servers here, and colored boxes represent our items, virtual machines. On the right, the optimal state, which is also given as our input. The boxes are the same, but they are distributed not the same. We can move any single virtual machine to some other server if it has enough capacity for both CPU and memory, and we can move many VMs at the same time, in parallel. We call a collection of such moves a step. Our output of the algorithm will be a collection of all these steps, sequentially, each having many moves of single virtual machine inside. We call this a schedule of migrations. There are many possible schedules for any input. We would like to find the schedule to achieve an optimal state as fast as possible. Also, we would like to do only necessary moves, so we need to minimize the migrated amount of memory. Let's see the first example. Here we have th three servers initially, and the optimal mapping we need to achieve has only two active servers on the right. Step 0, this is the initial state. We can move this dark blue or navy colored virtual machine from server number 3 to server number 2. Let's do this. Now you can see that we only need to move purple virtual machine from server number 3 to server number 1. Let's do this. Ok, we achieved the final optimal placement in two steps and two migrations. Let's consider a more complicated situation in example 2. You can see here that we need to swap the positions of purple virtual machine on the server 1 and orange virtual machine from the server 2. We can consider this a deadlock since there are no enough space on each of this server to do this directly. So, same as in swapping values of two variables, we need to move some virtual machine to server number 3 and proceed with the final moves. Ok, let's do this. Step 0, initial step. Step 1. We moved orange virtual machine from server number 2 to server number 3. Step 2. We move purple virtual machine from server number 1 to the final destination, server number 2. And now we only have to move orange virtual machine from server number 3 to server number 1. Ok, we achieved the final mapping, doing 3 migrations and in 3 steps. There will be more difficult scenarios. Like for example, example 3, we have a dense packing of virtual machines. The optimal state will have only one active server here. All virtual machines will be in server 1. So these kind of examples will also be present in the test cases. Example 4 is a different situation. Virtual machines are scattered across the cluster. And you can see that the load of each server is uh, almost the same. This is we called balanced input. Example 5 is a more interesting situation. You can see that there are multiple virtual machines of the same color here, 
like orange and purple, and in the optimal state, each color will be used only once for each server. So this represents some kind of groups that must be scattered across the cluster. We do not know about these exact groups, the colors, in, the, uh, in our input, but the optimal placement already satisfies this constraint. Important notes to get is we need to have optimizing two targets, number of steps and amount of migrated memory. So you need to find a good trade-off here. Also, each server can have at most two migrations in a single step, including both in or out. This is the bottleneck. Most problem instances will be reasonable size, not very huge. So please focus on understanding the problem nature. You may also want to generate your own data set to try which situations are possible. Good luck! I hope you will enjoy this challenge.